at the time, I had spent my entire life in, in the state of Michigan. And uh, quite honestly, uh, the idea of travel or, uh, intrigued me. And uh, I, I had spent three years building my own practice. And uh, I'd actually become financially self-sufficient, could pay, could pay my rent, bought a, bought a uh, brand new car. And uh, for once, uh, my bills were paid and, and everything was fine. Uh, and I didn't think, I did not take the decision lightly whatsoever because I had spent three years building a pri my own practice and strictly on my own. And uh, I valued that. Uh, so the decision to go with the FBI was, or to apply to the FBI, and a lot of people, uh, it's not that I joined them, they, they accepted me. And uh, uh, at, as such, that decision was not lighthearted by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, the, one, the one thing that, that uh, uh, made the decision for me is that I felt I could always come back and do what I was doing. I would always have my license. If for whatever reason uh, my time with the government for whatever reason didn't work out, either I didn't like it or there was some issue, I could always come back and recreate what I had done. Um, but if I passed the opportunity to be accepted by the Bureau, I would never have that opportunity ever again. And uh, I thought the stakes were such that I would, you know, apply and, and see where it led me.